Good day everyone, glad to join you all back with another video. Well, May 21st is the International Tea Day, which also means time to make art with tea. Now, before I started filming this video, I did a quick swatch with the tea just to know how it laid on the paper, how it mixed and layered on top. Alright, with all that done, let's just jump into the artwork. Alright, first we need to tape the borders so that after the art is finished, when we take the tape off, it really creates a great white border. At first I wanted to draw a scenery with some trees and a really serene artwork, but then I realized that it would be a bit too plain and less detailed, so I decided to add some characters. Now I usually draw comic slash cartoon characters so I thought it would be a nice change of pace to draw an animal still in the comic slash realism side of art. And of course to have more detail or interest in the artwork I added a character. So every artwork has a story. In this artwork, this boy has a pet, a wolf. So the boy rescued this wolf as a pup from a landslide and ever since they have been friends and currently they are on some quest to find something. This wolf protects the boy from threats. I don't know why but this is a bit similar to how to train your dragon. May 21st is the International Tea Day because season of tea production begins in May in most of the tea producing countries in the world. Now painting with this tea was just like watercolor for some reason but the difference was that unlike watercolor tea doesn't layer on top when wet. So if I want to create a darker shade then I have to wait like for 30 minutes for it to dry then paint again with it but it also layered very lightly so it was barely darker than it was before. So you literally need to make a lot of layers which means a lot of time. Now you could get past this by painting a lighter tone at first throughout the piece rather than just part by part and then wait for it to dry and then go on with the next layer throughout the piece and then repeat the same. Now for outlining and adding tiny details, the brush won't do it. So I used a fountain pen that I had, cleaned up the blue ink in it and then used the tea as ink for it. Well, it didn't work that well. The world is in a pandemic. If you don't wear masks, if you don't stay at home, then this pandemic will go on for many years. So please stay home, stay safe and always wear a mask if you are stepping out of your house. These little steps can help us come out of this pandemic. Stay home, stay safe. Hey, by the way, I'm doing a coloring in ebook which will be out soon, which has all the artworks that I have done in this channel and more. It is all completely free, so if you are bored at home, print it and color it. I thought of doing raindrops which creates a very dramatic scene but I was just too afraid to go to that step cause I thought it would ruin the artwork. But if I had just done that, the artwork would have been on a whole nother level. But also keeping in mind that this is a tea art challenge, not a white pen art challenge. Oh my god, that's a pretty good idea. I better note that down. I just wanted to keep the background a bit simple cause I wanted the wolf and the boy to stand out more. So I just added some rocks and then used a very light tone of tea and painted some trees in the background. Which makes a really cool effect as though the trees are in the background fading out. Alright, that's enough talking for me. Let's get this artwork done. This was a really satisfying experience to paint with tea, but as the saying goes, everything comes to an end. Enjoy the review.
turns out you can paint with tea. I really love the way this has turned out and I really hope you did too. If you did, please like this video, share it with your friends and subscribe. Don't forget to turn on the post notification bell because there will be lots and lots more of cool videos coming up. And until next time, I'll see you later. Would you paint with tea?